What we're going to talk about today is sampling, and one of the important concepts associated with sampling is the idea of convolution, where we're going to take the convolution, instead of in the time domain, which we're usually familiar with, we're going to take a look at sampling in the frequency domain. Okay, first let's look at the sampled signal. We have our original signal here. Go back again. Our original signal here. We'll call that x of t. And we'll put our sampled signal of that here. And that's, I'll put a dash just to denote that it's an envelope. And we're going to sample at these points, these points, this point, and this point. So we're going to just sample it right there. Okay. But we can think of this, and we'll call this x sub s t. All this is a function of time, right here and here. Now we can think of this as a multiplication between the original signal and some periodic signal. In this case, we'll call our periodic signal a set of impulse trains. So we got four points again, one here, all at the same height, okay, and uniformly spaced. So that's our periodic signal. Mathematically, this means that our x sub s of t is equal to the product of x sub t times p of t. Okay? But we note that that's a convolution in the frequency domain. Alright? So that's x sub s as a function of f, since we're in the frequency domain convolution between our original signal and here's our symbol for our convolution and I'll put a circle and a summation of P N oops F minus N F S going from N equal minus infinity to infinity. All right. Now, what does this mean in terms of uh, convolution where we can express it mathematically in terms of an integral? Minus infinity to infinity, x of u, summation, don't forget that, that's because it consists of a periodic impulse train. And this fs is just a sampling frequency, so if this was right here, separation of t we'll call it s then that's just 1 over f of s sampling frequency and n is our harmonics okay and it's an integer so that's just p f minus n fs minus u du okay but we know that this consists of a whole bunch of impulses so we can rewrite this again or we substitute our delta functions x of mu n equal minus infinity to infinity del f minus n f s minus mu du but this integral exists only when u is equal to f minus n f s so it's this set of periodic impulse in the frequency domain is just gonna evaluate here this function, our original signal, at that point. So all this reduces to x f minus n f s. Okay, going from n 
equal minus infinity to infinity. So here our sampled signal, x sub s, f, f, is just multiple spectra of the original signal.